live now hello dripping springs hope boat right here at mercer street art we're here with the owner debbie and we're going to take a tour and get to learn a little bit about this amazing space right here in the warehouse district in downtown dripping springs thanks debbie good morning good morning tell us about this amazing amazing space well i'm so happy to have you here and thank you for coming happy to um it is amazing the local talent one of our artists is here today, Pilar. Hi, Pilar. Hi, Pilar. I'm going to pan over to you. Hello. <laughs> and like every other artist here, they are all local. They're all from the Hill Country. So even the new art that you'll see as we walk around um, that hasn't been hung came in last night. These are local artists who have space here. And uh, except for the clothing, Pretty much everything is made locally in the Hill Country. And we're really proud to say we're supporting local artists. That's amazing. There's not really quite like anything else in Dripping Springs, like what you guys do. Thank there's you. there's not. So this is really special that what you guys are doing and supporting the local artist community. I'm so excited to, to take a walk around with you and get to show everybody okay. what you offer. All right. Okay. Um, this actually is one of our new artists. Her name is Trish Faith. Party. and um, she lives right here in Dripping. She is a relocator from Washington State. We're thrilled to have her. Her work has been very well received. Beautiful. And we have Leanne who also lives here in Dripping and Leanne has uh, quite a bit of space here. Leanne's a member of the Cherokee Nation and wow. she does these prayer ones with some antique things and of course our deer which we can't keep on the wall they walk <laughs> out of here pretty much on their own this is bob skewis a lovely man also from dripping we love bob uh, he is just lovely and again local artists and supporting them is is really what i try and do um jane fear does a really interesting kind of art called monotype printmaking it's beautiful and people think that it might be a copy or something like that everything here is an original there are no copies there are no duplicates everything is original whatever you buy it's yours and no one else's um the ceramic work is flying out of here she's been here about two weeks her name is gina and mm. gina has explained that this is not painted or glazed work it's two colors of clay oh how neat and we've i've had to put her stuff all over the shop because i'm selling so much of it and i can't have her come every day that's amazing so we're thrilled that gina is here um some of our clothing is behind you cool and this is a new addition right you guys have just brand new and again it's doing really well been well received and I'm excited to tell you we have some men's clothing because men were asking oh so we have these awesome short sleeve shirts for summer for nice men. Um, over here I'm also excited to tell you about Melody Melody's a local gal and in, in, she lives over by Nutty Brown and she has this brand new business and came to me and said would you be interested and I am just thrilled that she came here and that we can support her. That's amazing. So it's a aromatherapy, body oil, candles. candles oh lip man. Sal, lip balm and salve and hand stuff and um, really awesome healthy candles, cool. healthy products. And she's lovely. We love her. Oh. So um, this, I'm excited to tell you, is an exhibit. And this wall's been reserved for other local artists, not just our resident artists, or in addition to also local Hill Country artists. It's called America the Beautiful. It was open, there was no jury. Anybody local who would like to participate was able to. How cool. And um, it's been up for about two weeks and it will be up until July 19th. And you can see there's no shortage of local talent. You're absolutely right about that. Amazing. Beautiful glass work, painting, photography, the wreaths. It's 
so neat. And you guys have quite a few events throughout the year. Is that yes, correct? Yes. In the fall will be our next open exhibit. Wonderful. Not sure what it's going to be called yet, but it'll be open again to Hill Country artists. Cool. That's amazing. So um, the other thing I'm, I'm excited to talk about are the workshops and the uh, paint and sip on Wednesdays. That's starting the first week in July. Nice. Um, a lovely artist, her name is Suzanne King from Dripping Springs. Of again, course. <laughs> is going to be teaching those two uh, events. One is a three session workshop where people can paint. She's going to do a Texas landscape. Oh, work, cool. And it's a three session workshop. Wow. And uh, we are, uh, I'm so excited to have her. She just retired and has the time. So we're lucky to have her. And then um, the paint and sip will start July 7th and that will be every other Wednesday. And she'll be hosting that too. So fun. So it doesn't have to be her project. Anybody can bring what they're working on. Oh neat. But she will have a project for each Wednesday evening. How fun is that? Really fun. And where can people find that information? Oh, that will be on, on, on both our Instagram page, which is Mercer, ST for Street Art, so Mercer Start. And similar for Facebook, we have a new Facebook page called Mercer Street ST Art and Boutique. Oh, fun. Cool. So we have that new page. All right. I'll have to and make sure I go on and give it a like and a follow. That would be awesome. Um, these candles, unlike Melody's, they're healthy candles made in the United States. So we have these. They've been very popular. And um, two woodworkers. We have two awesome woodworkers. Oh, cool. Phil does this incredible, lot of live edge work. And then um, another gentleman named uh, Jay Reynolds, and he does, we have plaques that... Uh, support all of the military every branch police officers he does jewelry boxes wow. all kinds of things and the work on the floor is suzanne king because she's become a resident artist with us in Neat. addition to teaching and uh she brought in this work last night so it will be going up today How, well wow so beautiful so vibrant wow she's really really talented oh i can't wait to see it on the wall this is amazing thank you on our table and in the corner, we have two different soap makers. Tyler, we're really, really proud to have Tyler. Tyler is a, a vet and he came back, uh, he has a nonprofit. Uh, his story is on the table. Uh, when he came back from overseas, he felt very fortunate that he integrated back into his family. And so he set up the nonprofit. He's a beekeeper oh, neat. and he has goats. And the oh. nonprofit, all, all the soap we sell of his, all the money goes to support vets who have PTSD that's so debilitating that they can't work. And he sets them up in the bee business and teaches them how to be beekeepers. So again, a local guy from Dripping that we're thrilled. I'm just thrilled to support him. Bell Springs products right up the road here in Dripping, also soap. Cool. I'm going to get a pan. This is... This is Tyler. This is Tyler. Okay. And we can't keep his soap in, so How I'm waiting for more. Uh, his story is here. Amazing. Um, if you guys are just tuning in, we're here at Mercer Street Art with the owner, Debbie. We are getting a whole tour of this amazing space. It's not just art, it's jewelry, it's it's gifts, it's clothing, it's woodworking. This space is amazing. And glass. And glass, you're we absolutely have a right. Wonderful glass artist. Her name is Sona. And she does beautiful fused glass. And you'll see if you've noticed all the floral arrangements. I have, yes. Barbara Black, who I adore she is a floral designer by trade oh neat and she has created these amazing ridiculously affordable floral arrangements and she also makes these bracelets oh cool They're leather the leather comes from greece 
but she too is right here and dripping. Of course. So we love her. Amazing. And you can see more of Gina's work and and Pilar. Do you have any work that's being displayed right now? Oh my goodness, she surely does. Is this Pilar's work right here? Oh, all over here. No, oh my jewelry. <laughs> and then I make jewelry. You make jewelry too? I do. Well, yes. I have Barbara who does the bracelets, but. I do this intricate seed bead work. <gasps> wow. It's weird to talk about yourself. It's, yeah, but you know, you got to do it. <laughs> wow. Okay, okay. So they're Beautiful. real pearls. They're real semi-precious stones. how long does that take you? A really long time. I bet so. Yeah. That's incredible. Thank you. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. And so tell folks, um, where can they, where can they find you? Where are you located? Uh, 330 West Mercer Street, and the building is uh, the old Mercer Street Dance Hall. So if you know where the dance hall was and you walk to the other end, that's where we are. Awesome. And our official hours are Wednesdays through Saturdays, okay. 11 to 5. But you could pretty much find me here every day. <laughs> um, and I don't that, want yeah. to forget... Um, Jessica Musgrave, who does the black and white, amazing work. Oh, okay. Uh, it's really different. It is painted. Some people have come in and said, oh, is that photo negative work? Nope. Nope. She has painted that. with. Wow. She paints the canvas or the wood black and then paints with white. And Joyce, back here, Joyce Staffan, She's done all this work, which will be on the back wall, and I hope that people will come see it once it's hung. I'm sure that they will. <laughs> so <laughs> Wonderful. Well, anything else, Debbie, that you want to share with everybody, all the followers? Well, we welcome you to come in. It's always nice and cool in here. It is. It feels great. <laughs> and um, I'm pretty much here all the time. But okay. if I'm not here, Pilar is here. Okay. And... Uh, and We'd you're on, to see you. on social media, and you have a website. No website. No website. Facebook and Instagram. Okay, perfect. And I try and keep current with all of those, the things that are happening here. Sounds great. Well, thank you so much for giving us a tour. This is such a special, special place. I love coming here. There's just like a sense of peace every time I walk through these doors. It's thank really you. wonderful. You're so welcome. Well, you guys have a lovely, lovely 4th of July weekend, and I'll see you guys next week. Thank Take care. You. Bye. Bye.